Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to code combo boxes. A combo box is a drop down list where users can select and use each item in the list. It's essentially a combination of an entry widget and a drop down list. In this tutorial, I'll also be showing you how to use, how to get and use the value that you select in the combo box and use it to populate uh, another widget. In this case, it's just a label. So let me show you what our final outcome will be. This is what it will be. We'll have our combo box in the top left and we'll have four values, apple, banana, strawberry, grape. And when we select a value, it will populate the value in a label that sits below it. So for apple, banana, strawberry says strawberry and grape, the label also says grape. So that will be our out final outcome at the end of this tutorial. So let's get started. Let me just hash this out first and then zoom in so everyone can see a bit more clearly. And then zoom in. Now we're ready to start. So the first thing you need to do is import the TK into module and I've given it the alias as TKR. So TKR is our main TK into module. You will also need to import a subsection of TK into called TTK because we'll be using that subsection to create our combo box and we need to call that separately. And I've given up the alias as TKR TTK. The next thing we need to do is create our main screen using TKR. So if you type in TKR.TK with a capital T, that will create our main screen. And then if you specify a few geometries by typing in screen, I've given, it, I've given the main screen the variable name screen. And if I type in screen.geometry and then specify a geometry in quotation marks, that'll fix it to a size. And if I type in screen.title and then in brackets put in a, or in quotation marks, put in a name, that will put a title in the top frame. Then if I go to the bottom and type in tkr.mainloop, that tells it that it's ready to run. And so if we actually run this now, we can see here that we've created a box with combo box in the title. It's a, a window with a fixed dimensions as well. So that's all ready for our combo box to go in. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a value V and this is what our combo box value will be that is selected. So when you select a value, it will be our string var in this case and we'll be giving it the variable V. And if you type in V equals TKR dot string var, that's all set and ready to go for our, and ready for our combo box to be created. The next thing you need to do is actually create our combo box. So we've set it up the screen for it to go into. We set up a way of selecting a value. And now we need to create our actual combo box for it all to fit together. So if we type in TKR TTK, calling our subsection of the TK into module, if you type in TKR TTK dot combo box with a capital C, and then in brackets, type in screen, that'll fix it to our main screen. If you type in comma text variable equals V, that will set our text selection to be the value V, which we specified earlier. I like to do that before I create the combo box so it all fits in nicely when you're actually writing it. And I've given that the variable combo box one. So the next thing we need to do is actually populate it with a few values that we can actually select. And so if we type in the name of the combo box, in this case combo box one, and then in square brackets type in values, also in quotation marks, then equals, and then in square brackets, within a new set of square brackets we can type in as many values as you want. So you can type in, just make sure they're in square brackets and make sure they're in um, quotation marks. You just type in as many as you want. In this case, I've only got four. Cool. So I've specified four values here, apple, banana, strawberry, and grape. And I've put them in quotation marks and in square brackets. The next thing I like to do is I like to set the current index. So combo box, Combo boxes in this case start with an index of minus one. 
So I like to set it at zero to make it like any other list that you create in Python where the first position is zero. So if you, you can do that by typing in the name of the combo box, in this case combo box one dot current, and then in this case I specify zero as the index value. It may or may not be useful, but it's just something I like to do as good practice. So that is our combo box created. If we just pack it into our gr into our um, screen by typing in tom combo box one dot grid, and then I specified row equals zero and column equals zero, and then we can run it, and we can see our combo box has been created. This is our combo box. So apple, banana, strawberry, and grape, and we can select each value, and this value selected here is V essentially. That is that is what V is. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is we want to get that value V and we want to put it into another place. So we want to be able to use the values that we select in our combo box. So in this case I'm going to create a label and put the value that we selected into the label. So if we type in tkr.label with a capital L and then in brackets type in screen We'll put that label into the main screen and then I type in text variable equals V and I've given the same text variable here as the combo box which is our string var that we've created and that is what the link is and that is how you can populate in this case I've populated this is how I have populated the label with the same value that the combo box has been selected with and I've given up the variable label one and so what we can do next is we can pack it as well, have it shown in our main screen by typing in label1.grid. In this case, I put row equals one to put it below our combo box and column equals zero. So if we run that, we will now have our final result where we have our four values, apple, banana, strawberry, grape. If we select banana, our label will update. We step strawberry, label update as well, and same with grape. So now we have a combo box where you can get the value and use it to populate the value of a label in this case. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Please do subscribe if you really like this video and please do share it to someone who you feel may benefit from it. Thank you very much for watching.